Well played, man. Well played. There's a lot of energy in that. Thank yeah. you. Ladies Thanks. and gentlemen, Mr. Peter Sandofi. Hi. Yeah, welcome to Drumio. Thank you. Yeah. It's a great pleasure to be here. So. Peter has come all the way out from Hungary, uh, Budapest, correct? Yes. Yeah. And right. he's joining us here for a live lesson, obviously, on uh, drum and bass and jungle groove. So it's an honor to have you out. We've actually chatted quite a bit over the last couple of years. We, we met up at uh, PASIC 2016, yeah. wow. yes. and that has led to this. And um, man, Hungary's got a lot of great drummers. You're not the first yes. Hungarian drummer we've had on Drumio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool, cool. But uh, if you guys don't know who Peter is, I'm glad to introduce you to him and hopefully you become a fan because his drumming is very, very energetic. It's very, very well played too. And um, he's done a lot of stuff in his life. You've been in over 130 albums. You've done a lot of stuff with your, your visiting uh, instructor, I guess you can say, at the Drummers Collective. Yes. Uh, you also won what they call in Hungary the Golden Drumstick Award in 2003 and four, which is yes. like best drummer in Hungary, Wow! Yes. which is a huge honor, man. Yes, that's yeah. it. So yeah, you know your stuff. You. you also play in a couple bands too. Now, now the first song you just played for us now, well, what's the story behind that? Is that your band or? Uh, yeah, uh, this is a brand new song uh, which uh, will be appear uh, uh, on my uh, up upcoming solo CD, uh, which we'll release in, in some weeks. Uh, I think in 20, 21st of May uh, of March. Okay. So, uh, so that's my uh, my new and and original composition. Very cool. And uh, and on this album uh, we will have some some uh, great artists like like Willie on bass and George uh, George Witte on on keyboards and and many other hungry and great great musicians. So I'm so hap happy to yeah. to launch that CD and, and play this this tune as a first. First in intro song. Yeah, uh, give us a little taste of what's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, it's probably already released, so go and check it out. And if you want to follow Peter, your main way of communicating is through Facebook, you said. Your Facebook. I, yeah, page, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is just yeah, facebook.com slash Sendofi, I yes. believe. Yeah. So make sure you go and follow him on there as well. And uh, huge thanks to the sponsors for helping bring you out. We got Remo, we got Tama, Regal Tip, Humes and Berg's cases. Um, so yeah, huge thanks to you guys for, for helping out with this lesson as well. The kit yeah. sounds incredible. Yeah, 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 I'll, yeah, 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 I love it. That's and you got two really cool snares out Yeah, here. thanks. Yeah. Uh, very, very cool. And if you guys are watching this on Facebook or you're watching this on YouTube and you like what you're seeing, we do this kind of stuff all the time inside of Drummy Wedge. We also are going to be filming a, a unique course just on drum and bass and jungle grooves with Peter that'll be exclusive to only Edge members, as well as an interview asking him some questions and a Q&A session. So if you guys like this, head on over to drumio.com and sign up. You can get a free trial at drumio.com slash trial and check out what we have inside, um, but let's get to the lesson. Okay. Jungle, grooves, and drum and bass. Yes. Now there's a PDF you guys can download that has a bunch of little exercises or a bunch of grooves that he's mm. gonna teach. Uh, also the cool thing about this lesson is all the songs you're gonna hear Peter play today are gonna be available as play-alongs in Drumio in the near future. So it's very cool, thank you for that. Sure, but let's start pleasure. out. Yeah, so let's start out by uh, what is drum and bass and jungle groove? What is the definition of that? Uh, you know, it's uh, it's interesting. It's it's a quite quite a quite new thing. Uh, 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 there are two different ways where where the drum and bass drumming uh, uh, came uh, came from. The first is uh, 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 from the late '60s and early '70s. When uh, when the 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 most famous funk and Motown drummers like Lyle Stubblefield and and uh, and uh, 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 Steve Jordan uh, st started to play a certain kind of of, uh, of funk grooves with uh, with, with a different type of accents, not not only to play the the two four back beats, but they started to play uh, uh, they started to change the accents and uh, and uh, and then the other side. Uh, c uh, Came from from the the intelligent DJ culture, mm. uh, when about the late 80s and the late, and the early 90s, the the DJ st started to use uh, so sound softwares to uh, to 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 make many make many make many differences on on uh, on the old old taped recording, and uh, they started to to uh, to to put. Put a certain groove into a, a computer, and and they started to speed it up, and then they they try to to uh, to cut the grooves away. Like uh, uh, for instance, if we have a 
uh, to a two a two bar phrase. It it contains like 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 the first bar is is uh, sixteen of sixteen notes. The second bar is the same, and they started to cut like 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 the first half of the first groove, and they and 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 then again and again. So so they did basically five six different cuts mm. from yeah. uh, f from a two bar phrase, yeah. and then and then they changed up the the, the order. So, so they actually, actually put it again together, uh, just like in a random order, mm -hmm. and 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 uh, that's why they they got finally this the, the groove uh, with the same elements, but but that was sounding totally different. Yeah, because it's cut. Uh, yeah, it's cut, yeah. Cut so yeah, so so they changed the accents on a on a kick drum and a high, and a high hat and a snare drum. Mm -hmm. And that's that's why when 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 we listen to a, a, a groove like this, it sounds like a big chaos, uh, just like a big jungle. Mm -hmm. That's why they 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 call jungle uh, uh, grooves because because you you can hear a, a, a two bar phrase or four bar phrase or eight bar phrase, but the but the accents are just like a drum solo. It, it it's a, like 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 there is no 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 any clear system like how how to uh, to do it. Actually, when I play jungle things, uh, uh, my jungle playing, uh, uh, what, uh, for example, in the first first tune, what you could hear, uh, those are uh, ninety five percent uh, of. Uh, Improvisation in between these accents and the 60 notes and ghost notes no and the eight. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, because uh, because it, it 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 gives me a lot of freedom, mm -hmm. but but the other thing is uh, uh, for, for, uh, first of all I had to spend a lot of, a lot of time with a slow time practicing with uh, a, re a, re a really simple uh, drum and bass grooves. So the. So the difference between the the drum and bass and the, the, the drum and bass and the jungle is like like the drum and bass grooves are simple basically, mm -hmm. one bar phrase, two bar phrase, like like if I if I would say, example. yeah, it's like uh, if I if I play a simple a simple drum and bass groove is is like. Right, that's like one, two, three, four, two, two, three, mm -hmm. four. Uh, in a slower tempo, like one, two, three, four. Right? Uh, if I if I would say like, okay, I want to change the accents. I want to change the the accent on the two four back beats, and maybe I want to put the put the, the the notes of the kick kick a kick drum. To another place, so I want to just re just replace the, the snare and the, the, the kick part. It's it sounds like like this with the same uh, same element. Like right. So I I I play basically the same like. Right. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so this is the, the the difference between the the jungle and the drum and bass. If I play drum and bass beats, that's simple because uh, because uh, we have a two four back beats. Some some ghost notes are quite quite simple things, uh, but it but it's difficult to play because the because the drum and bass beats. Uh, uh, tempo starts yeah. like, uh, for, uh, from one one to sixty seventy BPM. Up, up till like yeah. 220, 30, I don't know. Okay. So, uh, so it's it's really it, that's a big challenge to to keep 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 the right time playing constantly during six, seven, ten, ten minutes within one song uh, in 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 fast in fast uh, fast tempo. So, uh, let me give you guys a couple of examples what I uh, sure. yeah. what what I brought. The the first the first groove of what I want to play, uh, it's a it's a simple drum and bass groove. I I try to try to pick uh, five different grooves uh, from 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 the quite very beginning level to to the up up like 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 more more advanced, advanced. levels. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So the first sounds like this. Uh, 
Uh, uh, let me show you them uh, in in slow tempo first. Like one, two, three, so. Right, a bit faster. bit more faster a bit more uh, more faster a bit more uh, more faster So, so that was the first groove, which is which is a, a quite simple. Uh, for me, when I start to practice uh, uh, the drum and bass jungle things, uh, I I had two two things what I had to to uh, figure out a lot. The first was uh, the dynamic level. Uh, when I play, for example, uh, uh, funk fusion or, or or Latin or jazz uh, things, uh, I I I was practicing during the last last. Uh, 30 years to to play as wide dynamic range as it's possible, mm -hmm. and uh, to, uh, when I when I play ghost notes, that should be a, just a, a really a tiny little notes yeah. because the because the the we we have no no any uh, absolute notes absolute pitch on a drum set, but we have a huge dynamic level what we can use. So to make music in uh, in in the other styles, we we uh, we really have have to use a, a huge dynamic range and but but, but when we we play the the drum and bass jungle things it's not possible because if i would if if i would play the same groove what i demonstrated before with uh, with 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 the, the dynamic level and phrasing uh, if if i play for example a normal funk tune it's it sounds like It sounds like more, more like a funky something, yeah. not like a, 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 a drum and bass. If I change, uh, if I compress the dynamic level uh, uh, like this, that sounds sound, so, sounds like a real, real drum, drum and bass jungle groove, because uh, because uh, uh, this kind of electronic music we uh, we. We have totally, we have totally different uh, uh, approach, and and uh, and the function of the drum set playing uh, in in this kind of music is totally different. Mm. Uh, that's why I I I turned 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 to to this kind of, of music about 10, 10 years ago, because uh, because I I could find a, a totally different path uh, for for my playing, and 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 uh, and, and that was so exciting to to. To be to be in a totally different part of the music than than if I play funk or 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 or, or fusion stuff, and also uh, so 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 when I play these things, I I I have less less dynamic uh, dynamic possibilities on a drum set, but I but I I can I I can use a lot of a lot of effects, a lot of sounds. Mm -hmm. And uh, also a lot of a lot of rhythmic variations. Mm -hmm. So so when I play a jungle groove, it, it's it's uh, it's it's ba it's basically a, a, a complete drum solo could be because because I change always the accents, the the parts of the uh, right hand and left hand and everything. So I try to I try I try to create create inter interesting sounds on a drum set. And that's why I, I use three snare drums. Yeah, Actually, true. at home when I when I do studio recordings. I use actually four snare drums no for this kind of, of music. Like one, two, three. There's a, a, a snare drum here and here, and I, I use only one 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 floor tom because this this music needs a lot of a lot of different snare sounds, a yeah. lot of di a different cymbal sounds, because uh, because the, the the DJs create this kind of music with with, with a lot of uh, pre pre created patterns and loops and 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 drum beats with different effects. So, so if I would just use one hi hat and one right cymbal, maybe 
uh, that wouldn't be be enough. So that's why I try to uh, try to to uh, to, uh, to use different uh, stacks and, and different symbols, two right symbol, uh, because be, uh, because that that kind of music re really needs these these things. Okay, let me cool. let me give you the second ex example, which is a which is a, a same kind of groove, but a little bit more more difficult. There is a little variation in the second half half, half of of, uh, of this groove. So it sounds like. A A bit faster. A bit more faster. A bit more faster. Also can play the same groove in, for example, a different snare drum. Or, uh, uh. Uh, so I have many, many, many possibilities to to. To change, to change, change the location of the right hand and the left hand. Uh, okay, uh, th this groove is a little bit similar than, uh, for example, if you, if you listen to uh, the late '60s and early '70s recordings from uh, James Brown or uh, Amy Brothers or or this uh, these bands, I, I used to listen to a lot of uh, cl uh, cl uh, Clyde Stubblefield stuff. Mm -hmm. You know. I'm, I'm sure most of you guys know the, 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 the really famous groove. Uh, this is the funky drummer groove, uh -huh. which is actually, actually a really, really popular lick for, for the DJs to, to, cut, to cut away and, and, and speed up the tempo and, and, and create a totally different uh, uh, chaos-oriented groove by, by, by the simple elements of, of this groove. So, so it's, it sounds like... So, uh, so, th so this is basically a funk groove, but 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 Clyde changed the accents and uh, and uh, and also he 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 played different things on a higher, not only eight notes or 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 not only sixteen notes, but 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 he changes the the accents in between the kick and the snare on the hi hat. So that's why it's so in interesting stuff. The other things from from Clyde Stubblefield, what I used to listen to a lot. Which is a which is a a, a typical break uh, breakbeat or basic of the jungle grooves because uh, he he replaced again the accents between the snare drum and the kick. This is the the groove of, groove groove of the the the, the tune co uh, called Sweat, which is a famous uh, James uh, James Brown tune, which sound, sounds like. So, uh, so he he did basically the same things what what the DJs did later. So, so he was absolutely genius of uh, in, in terms of the, the the groove playing and 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 this 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 kind of of, uh, of rhythmic part. So, uh, uh, so let's see the the next the next uh, next groove, which is a, a two bar phrase actually, and. It, it also contains a little changing uh, uh, in terms of the accents. So it's, uh, it's, it sounds like in slow tempo, like, like this. Right? 
So, so, uh, so when when you guys listen to it first, that that can be a little bit confusing because uh, because the the uh, the location of the two for backbeat is gonna be changing. So, uh, so it it sounds like one. So, so, so I so I I put the the the, the second key uh, the uh, the uh, the second snare drum accent actually for the one two three four end. So like. So this part, like, uh, it, it it's it's repeating three three times, like. Right. Okay. So, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so that's 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 a kind of uh, uh, if I can say a three a three against four. Yeah. Uh, like uh, if I play to faster tempo, uh, uh, that that sounds cool. Like, uh. So it's <laughs> very cool. You got to show us that on the other snares too. Yeah. Right. That's so yeah. cool. So uh, uh, also the other uh, the other recommendations for all all of you guys who want to start start to practice the the drum and bass jungle things is uh, uh, to to be be a re really really patient and and spend a lot of time with a slow time practicing because in this kind of music we we have to be extra careful of uh, the time time playing so it's 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 not possible to play the uh, to play the beats uh, 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 a little bit behind or or, for example, uh, uh, a little bit rush between uh, 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 from from uh, from 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 the first and second and, and third and and fourth quarter notes, because uh, because be, uh, because usually in this music we we use a lot of a lot of a lot of other loops and and, and programming and, and arpeggios from the keyboards, yeah. so uh, so 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 we have have to. To spend a lot of time with with slow time practicing and and play each note uh, to the to the edge, to the edge of the grid, otherwise, uh, in a faster tempo there will be a, a, a huge huge chaos and, uh, see, yeah. uh, in terms of the the, the time uh, time playing. So uh, so so believe it or not, I I uh, I spend like ninety five percent of my of my practicing when I practice drum and bass things. With the really simple things, mm -hmm. and in really slow tempo, and 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 I keep my concentration uh, constantly to play each note to the correct correct yeah. place. Make sure that uh, the spacing's there. Yeah, and 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 this long time practicing a slow tempo, uh, we we really we really need to 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 reach the faster tempos. As uh, as I as I experienced. Uh, uh, the the fast tempo playing will come automatically when uh, when, when we spend spend in, uh, enough time with uh, with the different different grooves in a slow tempo. Cool. So that's why I I you would I would truly recommend you if uh, if you guys would be impatient and uh, and after like 20 minutes just want to speed up the tempo to to 180 your muscle would be tight your concentration would be mm -hmm. like tricky like you and 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 you guys will will get lost so so uh so that's why i i actually spent two or three years uh from from the beginning when i uh, 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 to practice drum and bass things when i did did the first album when i played actu uh, actually a real 
real drum and bass jungle grooves because uh, because because it 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 it, it, it really it really yeah. it really takes time to 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 uh, to to focus on 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 the beats and the concentration and the technical side and everything. Which makes so, sense. It's pretty in, in, in intricate. Uh, a style of music to play Absolutely, with all yeah. these little, the notes there. Uh, let's check out number four. Okay, okay, yeah. let's do it. So, so uh, that's uh, that's a little bit more complicated. Not too much, just a little bit. So, so uh, uh, let me play it again in a, uh, a bit slower, like. Uh, A little bit faster. Yeah. A bit faster. It, the, the displaced down beat on the end of the second bar of the, yeah, the yeah, yeah. one really makes it sound odd time a little bit, but yeah, it's not. Yeah, and, and also it uh, it's sounding a little bit like uh, if I would play a kind of half half uh, half time oriented uh, uh, thing like like. So 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 that's a kind of mixture of of a half half, half time sixty note note oriented groove, but a simple jungle groove. So can you show us an example, maybe doing just a straight ahead time, uh, um, and then going into that, so we can hear the difference in feel? Uh, uh, yes. Something very simple. Yeah yeah yeah. I mean um, uh, yeah. If I if I uh, I. I also could change the, change a little bit the uh, for example the hi hat part if if I, if I would say like like I play I, I can play uh, eight notes constantly on a hi hat for example like, like. So uh, so I I played basically the same groove, but if I if I change change the hi hat parts, but that would be a, a, a totally different sounding groove. So so I so I so I think uh, so that's why I I I usually use uh, improvisation. Uh, there are some uh, some uh, some common drum and bass leaks or 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 or, uh, or movements, but 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 I basically uh, I. I listen to a, a lot of this kind of music, which basically doesn't contain live drumming, mm. because if if I listen to it from DJs, uh, uh, the mind of the DJs are are totally different, mm. and 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 that's refreshing of uh, of my mind and uh, and gives me a lot of fresh fresh ideas, yeah. because uh, because because uh, because they they. Don't think about the the right hand is a higher part. The left hand is if totally I would play th yeah, three yeah. notes, it's it's too much. Maybe no, no. They they just they they just programming and and the, try to find the perfect balance between the the program drum part and the other parts. Mm -hmm. And that's why I I uh, I I receive I re I received actually a lot of great ideas from 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 DJs. So though, so that's why it's it's uh, it's so interesting to practice this this thing. Yeah, that that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's right. do that. Let's do number five. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll get you to play some more some yes. more music for us. Yeah. Uh, the the last one, the number five, is a little bit uh, uh, looks like a, a kind of linear thing. So so uh, so I stop to play the the, uh, the eight notes constantly. Uh, so it it sounds in 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 slow tempo like. Uh, 
once again in another do, do it again really slow because this is a this yeah. is a sweet okay. sounding beat. To, uh, to play this kind of of uh, of, uh, of linear beat uh, oriented uh, drum and bass grooves, it's much more difficult than when I play f play 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 a drum and bass groove, for example, with a straight eight notes like. Because because like this, I I I I have my 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 click track actually on the right side, so I can hear constantly the 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 down beats. Mm -hmm. But like like this, it's not possible because because I I, I play uh, almost constantly the 16 notes in between the kick and the snare and snare snare and hi hats. So it's switching constantly. Uh, so uh, so so it sounds it sounds like this uh, a little bit uh, faster. Like. more faster. Faster. I'm, I'm I'm trying. <laughs> So that's why I I, uh, I said like like this this kind of grooves in a real real really fast tempo is, is mu for me it's much more difficult for my brain mm -hmm. and not like my uh, my hand my hands hands and and, and feet so it, I think to play fast tempos in uh, uh, by by the by the the hand side or 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 or, or, or feet side. That's possible in, in in 200 BPM if you just have uh, have have to play like 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 single stroke rows on a pad or or something. But but to play this kind of linear grooves, oh, it's so different. A, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. In the correct tempo, I, I was gonna say it's deceptively hard. Like you don't think it, it's, it's that hard, but you sit down not only to get the patterns happening, but to get the right space in between the notes, and then also to get the right sound that you want yeah, from it because it's exactly. it's a unique uh, it's a unique kind of a texture that you have going on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you mind playing us another song? Yes, sure, yeah, sure, I would sure. love that. Yeah. And then, because uh, I got a couple okay. questions for you after these beats are great. Okay, you guys, make sure you 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 practice these. You have to watch it over again. That's totally cool because there's a lot happening there. Uh, but let's get you to play us another tune, and then we'll get to some other questions like how do you develop that speed? Okay, um, how do you tune your drums to sound like drum and bass? I I got a few questions from the members okay. too. All right, um, cool. So what song do you want to play for us next? Uh, the next tune uh, uh, called called uh, Take One. Okay. that's a really fast one. Uh, that's um, uh, I think is 220. BPM, Whew. which uh, which is uh, which which groove contains uh, basically only single stroke rolls because it's too fast to play. No, I mean, no. for me, <laughs> too fast to play any other uh, variation. So uh, so, so awesome. yeah yeah yeah. But well, it's, let's, uh, but let's check out take funny. take one. Yeah yeah take one. All right, cheers.
unbelievable. Thank you. You had to be so loose to be able to play that at, at 220 beats per minute. You seem like you're pretty chill the whole time, man. Yeah, you know, it's uh, you know, as I said, it's it's, uh, it's much much more more difficult for me to to keep keep the perfect balance between the 16 notes in no in, doubt. In, in yeah. this, I have a, this a hard enough time doing that at 180 beats per minute. You know, it's funny. Uh, but I got Thank a bunch you. of questions for you if you don't mind. Um, uh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, some just for, 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 um, for myself. Um, okay. for, for those who are interested in this style, I know it's not like there's a lot of, of top 40 drum and bass songs out there. Mm -hmm. So w what kind of bands do you recommend we check out if we want to dive into the style more? Or artists or drummers even too? Uh, I, I would give you two two. Examples. Uh, the first is uh, is Jojo Myers playing. For uh, of of course, we are great friends with Jojo since more more than twenty years, and that was in interesting because uh, uh, there was a couple of drum festivals in Hungary in in uh, in in nine, 1994, nine, 1995 actually, and we played together and and. Uh, and uh, after one of the one of the, the the shows, we went to went went to a disco, and Jojo said to me, I mean, he he was smoking and he he l he listened to the to that kind of kind, kind of of music, which which at that time for me was 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 so so boring, like a doom, 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 this kind of thing, yeah. and and he said to me like like uh, like he. Uh, uh, he feels something with this music, and and he will do so, do something really fresh with this kind of music. And 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 I I absolutely didn't understand it. You know, like 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 what do you mean? What what do you want to do with this kind of of uh, music? But then then uh, then when I when I listened to his his recording, I I decided to to, to start to play these things. That was around 2005, 2006, and. Uh, and uh, and 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 his 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 band uh, is is called Nerve. They play the same kind of yeah. of, uh, of uh, things with a DJ, a keyboard player, a bass player, and 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 the drums. And that's a really progressive, hard edged e electronic fusion kind of music. Based, yeah. Stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. So JoJo Mayer, the band Nerve. His, yeah, um, yeah. Maybe one fantastic. other suggestion, one other band that yeah, you know. Yeah, the other the other one is uh, uh, is actually a bass player. His nickname is Square Pusher. Okay. How do you spell that? Uh, he's a he's a fantastic D, uh, DJ and bass player. He does live li live shows with a lot of lap laptops, and and bass guitar and 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 he does the does the the cutting of of uh, of, of the, the loops and editing and and the play bass in live situation in real time. Okay. That's fantastic. What's and, his name again? Uh, uh, Square Pusher. Square Pusher. Yeah, okay, Square Pusher. He's fantastic. I I I, I bought. Uh, uh, almost 20 different recordings uh, from him. He uh, he's quite popular uh, since the the late 80s, uh, early 90s. Yeah. So he has at least 25 recordings, and I truly recommend uh, all of you guys to to listen to uh, uh, Square Pusher because uh, because uh, in his albums uh, there is no any. Pre-created or downloaded loops. Uh, all, each uh, each of each of of uh, the notes was created by uh, by Square Square Pusher. Very cool. So that's fantastic. Very he's, cool. He's well, fantastic. Check out definitely check out those two 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 groups. I know I've listened to a lot of Nerve and Jojo's yeah, yeah. an incredible yeah, drummer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope yeah, we'll have him on drum at some point. But um, yeah. uh, a couple more questions for you before okay. we wrap up because we're getting close to the end. And there's a lot of questions in here from uh, different members that are all very similar. And the one question I keep seeing a lot of, so I'll ask you, is what kind of technique are you using to get that kind of speed while you still look very loose? Can you just maybe talk a little bit or maybe give a couple tips of how drummers that want to get into this style can keep their tension down and to get these kind of speeds? Yeah, uh, uh, actually I, I, I don't use any any tricky things. I mean, I, I, I don't use basically a, a molar or push-pull or this kind of, of uh, things. I, I play basically uh, simple wrist, wrist and finger control, that's it. Uh, other, uh, the only thing is, uh, I, I always try to try to to find the perfect balance between the drum set and myself. So I I I I never play uh, uh, play by muscles. I I I try I try to be always very loose and and very re relaxed. Otherwise, 
uh, uh, like 85 of my my concentration concentration would be to 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 play out somehow the things by muscles by by arms. So so I try to play uh, 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 with, with wrist and and fingers as ma as much as it uh, as it possible. And I, I, I play actually uh, with these uh, these beats are uh, um, simple stickings like like singles doubles some par some paradiddle things. I I, I also uh, did practicing like uh, like to to play right hand uh, simple eight notes uh, and 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 uh, during the uh, during this playing I I I tried to try to to change the, the the single and double beats on a on a snare drum like uh, just like if i would say like like i play eight eight notes So, uh, so this these little elements, these little slices, uh, uh, are the really basics of uh, of the really speed uh, speed tempo. Uh, also, uh, uh, I'm I'm sure if you guys spend enough time with the slow time practicing, and 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 you you would be ec extra careful of of. Uh, of your of your hands and feet, like 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 no any pressure, don't choke the sticks, mm -hmm. because be, because there would be a, a a trap. It's it's not possible to. Uh, oh, I, it's it's maybe possible, yeah. but it, but but I would be suffering a lot if I have to have if I would have have to play by muscles in 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 this. Uh, in these fast tempos, so which, which makes yeah. sense. It's very yeah. loose group or group. It's very loose grip, Gr great, and great, great. Uh, especially because you do it in all in traditional grip too, which is which is really crazy. But yeah. uh, we'll we'll dive more into your technique in the course that we're going to be filming for Drum You Edge. Um, and if you guys are watching this. We're going to do a Q and A tour, so you can dive into the more technical side of your of your technique mm -hmm. in there. Uh, but the other question I get a lot of is your your, your tuning and your your uh, setup for this. You talked a little bit about having four snares on yeah. your recordings at home. Yeah. Um, can you talk about why you have your setup like this, and maybe why you chose the tunings for your snares? Uh, because because I think uh, in this kind of music we uh, we we. Uh, have have to use different type of snare drums because most of the time like 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 this music doesn't contain any long drum solos or 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 something like like this i i i i did a drum solo right now in the first tune and 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 i will do one more in the last tune that's why i use three three toms here mm -hmm. but actually when i play this this uh, this kind of beats i i I, I mean, it's, it's not necessary to to use the three toms because uh, because this music needs much more like 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 more right cymbal sounds and more hi hat sounds and and uh, and more snare drum sounds and maybe more kick sounds. I also use some some uh, some triggers during during the recording sessions to. Uh, to mix it, uh, uh, the electronic trigger sound with we, uh, with okay. uh, the, uh, the acoustic kick sound and a snare snare true. Uh, so so uh, so so basically, this is the 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 reason. So I usually uh, play like, like like one snare drum, two and three and four uh, when I do do uh, drum bass recordings, and 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 only one 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 floor time here. That's it. Very so, cool, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, uh, I'm excited to see what you're going to uh, bring to us tomorrow, and I'm excited to see you play one more tune for us, if you don't okay. mind. Um, sure. it's, it is almost five, so we're going to wrap yeah. it up there. Okay. A lot of more questions came in, but we'll do that tomorrow for the Q&A. Just want to thank everyone for watching. Hope you got something from it. I definitely got inspired to want to get into this style of music more. Um, thank, thank you know, you. every time I'm on your electronic drum set, you, you <laughs> scroll to the drum and bass thing, yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah. oh, I wish I could cool. play this. Oh, okay, cool. But I can't, so i got to practice it more. Um, <laughs> okay. So very cool beats. Thank you very much. Thanks very much for yeah. having me here. That, that, was a, that was a great pleasure to be here. It's a beautiful place and everything. Oh, thank perfect. you. You're Thanks. always welcome. Thanks. Always welcome back here. Make thank sure you. you follow him on Facebook. If you haven't, just facebook.com slash Sandofi and his name is S-Z-E-N-D-O-F-I. Yes, that's correct. Yes, I did it. You got it. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right, you so we're going to leave you with one more song. What's the song called? Uh, this song uh, called Shotgun Approach. Shotgun Approach. Yeah, Shotgun Approach because because uh, uh, I I have a band. It's called Loop Doctors. That's, that's actually a duo formation with a 
great keyboard player and 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 rapper guy yeah. from Hungary. And uh, and and we did our last recording, which was recorded in in, in Brooklyn a couple of years before. And uh, we took like two or three uh, takes from 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 this tune, and 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 all of this and all of the takes uh, con contained some 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 big mistakes, and we said uh, uh, to the sound guy like, okay, I'll, I'll, okay, let's let's do one more take, yeah. and he said, oh, okay, shotgun approach, and we just like it. There so, you go. So, so that's that's sometimes this is the, the best stories when it comes to the studio, you know, recording. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. So um, again, thanks everyone for watching. If you guys like this, go to drumio.com and sign up. Also, for those who are watching, all the songs that he played, or Peter played, sorry, in this lesson are going to be available as play along, so you can try what he's doing um, on them as well. So, hey. Thanks very much. Well, thank thanks, you. Thanks. We'll see thank you guys you. later. Free your mind, let go of the usual concept. See the music.